Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can create this kind of crazy background animation inside of After Effects without using a plugin. Everything is going to create just by using a shape layer and some adjustment layers. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. You can call it background. Duration can be 10 seconds so and, and dimension can be full HD 1920 by 1080. Hit OK. Now right click, go to new and create a shape layer. Open up the shape layer, click on this add button and add a rectangle. Open the rectangle property and from here increase the size value to 300. Also change the roundness value to 100. Now click on this add button and add a zigzag. Open the zigzag and change the size value to 8 and reduce per segment value to 0. Also change the points to smooth. Now we need to add a stroke here. For doing that, click on this add button and add stroke. Open the stroke property. First change the stroke width to 6. Now open the wave property and change the wave amount to all the way to 100%. You can see a wave in our stroke layer. Let's change the resolution to full. Also change the unit to cycle and change the cycle to 4. Also we need to animate the stroke and for doing that, uh, we need to animate the face property. So go to the first frame and add a keyframe on the face. Go to the end of the timeline and change the face value to 1. That's mean 1 complete cycle. Just like this. Alright. Now let's close this property for now. And click on this add button again and add repeater. Open up the repeater. Change the copies value to 100. Also open the transform property and change the x axis position value to 0 also change the scale value to 115 now if we change the rotation we can see the variation in our background yeah you can see that let's keep it 78 for now let's turn off the title action save grid now go to the first frame and add a keyframe on the offset and change the offset value to minus 7 then go to the end of the timeline and change the offset value to minus 14. Yep, I think this looks cool. Alright, our main part is done. Let's add some colors. For doing that, we need to add an adjustment layer. On the adjustment layer, we are going to add an effect called gradient ramp. You can change the ramp shape to radial ramp and change the starting point of the ramp from here and ending point of the ram to the down layer maybe outside the composition just like this let's change the color you can choose your own color so this looks good i think nice now create another adjustment layer and here we are going to add an effect called cc radial first blur just to smoothen the edges this amount looks fine you can change the zoom to brightest and yeah this looks fine i think maybe something like two or three two or three maybe it's fine let's keep it two for now now create another adjustment layer and here we need to add some glow effect apply it on the layer Change the threshold value to 20% and glow radius value to maybe 142 and glow intensity value to 0.7. On the same layer, add noise effect. Change the noise value to maybe 13. Let's play our animation. So this looks really good. So your background animation is done but i will suggest you to play with the different values to get something different out of it so this is all for today i hope you like the video thanks for thanks for watching see you guys in the next one till then have fun and stay safe